Hey guys, Etan Sun here from Sunbros, and today I'm really excited to be bringing you guys an all-in-one guide to the newest mage, Vexana, the Necromancer. Her story goes like this. A long, long time ago, there was a small country with a kind and caring king and queen who were held in high esteem by their subjects. Under the protection of the God of Light, they lived a peaceful life. But deep underground, a lord of the Dark Abyss was plotting to invade their land. The Dark Lord sent the enchanting vampire queen Alice to tempt the king. The king stopped attending court and no longer cared for his once beloved queen. With her husband's betrayal, the queen's sanity was raised by flames of jealousy, and to try to win back her husband's heart, she made a deal with the Dark Lord to regain her youth and beauty. Every day in the kingdom, another young and beautiful maiden went missing, and a panic fell over the people. The country grew weaker with each passing day, and the sacrifices demanded by the queen's sorcerer grew as well. Finally, the kingdom collapsed. No more sacrifices could be found, and the devouring power of darkness suddenly caused the queen to turn wizened and frightened. A thousand years have passed, and this unknown kingdom has disappeared in the stream of history, leaving only the legend of the demon queen. Very few today connect this tale with the great and terrible necromancer Vexana in the land of dawn. After all, it happened so, so long ago. So as you guys can see from the backstory, Vexana has a big time feud with one of the other mages in the game, Alice. That just makes me want to kill Alice that much more every single time I'm playing Vexana. Vexana is a mage whose main job is to deal a ton of damage. While Vexana is a great mid laner, I personally like taking her top lane. I stay close to the purple buff, and I feel like she is very good in a lane with a lane partner. Her ability to charm her enemies and bring them closer helps her create a really good wombo combo with pretty much any other hero in the game. Vexana is not just a great burst damage mage. Because of her great first ability that charms the enemy, she's really good at ganking other lanes and creating kill opportunities for either herself or her teammates. Additionally, Vexana is one of the best lane pushing mages in the game. Her second ability when placed correctly can hit all three minions in a wave and almost clear out the entire wave with one ability. Alright, so now that we've covered the basics about Vexana, let's go ahead and jump into talking about her abilities. Her passive is called Necromancy Spell. It adds an occult spell to targets who take damage from the Necromancer, lasting 5 seconds. While the spell lasts, the target will explode upon death, dealing 320 to 600 magic damage. To surrounding units, the base damage does increase with level. Units who receive plague damage from puppets will also have Necromancy spell cast on them. So essentially what Vexana's passive does is that each time you hit an enemy with an ability or your puppet hits somebody, they get marked for 5 seconds, and if they die within those 5 seconds, they explode, dealing a ton of magic damage to everyone around them. Now this can be useful in a bunch of different ways, whether you're doing it in a team fight scenario, and you can actually start a chain reaction of exploding enemies, or to clear a wave. If you kill, if you kill one minion with it, it'll also explode and help kill the other minions, and you could start a chain reaction of explosions that way also. But the best use of it by far is in a team fight environment, especially with somebody like Tigreal or somebody who can bring all the heroes around into one group. Once you get one of them and they start exploding, it, the damage adds up pretty quickly and can be pretty potent. Now Vexena's first ability is called Charm Spectre. Charm Spectre unleashes ghostly power in a forward direction, dealing 250 magic damage. The first hero hit will lose control and move towards the Necromancer, lasting one second. So essentially this is a charm that causes the enemy hero it hits to be crowd controlled and uncontrollably walk towards Vexana for a single second. Um, it's essentially as potent or, or even maybe more so than Nana's Polymorph. It renders the hero completely useless, can't do anything, as opposed to Polymorph where you can kind of slowly walk in whatever direction you want. With the charm you actually are forced to walk towards Vexana, which is a pretty interesting ability. Now, Charm Spectre is a skill shot, so you will have to aim it. Like, and with all skill shots, you're going to have to try to predict where the enemy is going to go. It's a fairly slow-moving ability, so it's not going to be one of those fast insta-shot things. Um, it definitely takes some skill and some practice to get used to aiming that Charm Spectre shot and landing it successfully. But your best thing that you can do as far as getting better at that is to try to predict where you think the enemy is going to be and try to aim it there and it's going to be good. If not, try to shoot it towards your enemy when they are moving 
towards you or away from you rather than horizontally in different directions. That makes it, like all scouts, that's a little bit easier to aim for some people. Now, Charm Spectre is great in and of itself as a crowd control ability, but it's best used in combination with Xana's second ability, Nether Snare. Nether Snare summons an otherworldly power to deal 600 damage to a specified location. So essentially the way that it works is you aim this ability and it causes a circle of damage that takes a little bit of time to cast. So you'll, you'll cast it and then it will kind of do the animation and come up and cast. So there's a slight delay to it, so beware of that. But essentially this is your poke ability, Nether Snare is the one you're going to continually cast where you think enemies are going to go. It is another aimed ability, so they are both, both her first and second ability are skill shots. And you're essentially going to try to predict where the enemy is going to be. You're going to cast it. This is the one. Nether Snare is the ability that deals a ton of damage. Later on in the game, don't be surprised if you take half to three quarters away of some Squishy's health with one Nether Snare. It really hits like an unbelievably hard truck. Uh, and the combination of Charm Spectre and Nether Snare essentially looks like this. You're going to shoot the Charm Spectre out, and when you charm somebody and they start walking towards you, the way that I like to do it is I like to shoot my Nether Snare directly on top and behind them. So if they don't immediately move as soon as the charm wears off, they get hit by it. Or if they do what most people do, which is essentially back off or run away or try to get into a safer position when this charm wears off, they will back right into the center of the circle or towards the outer edge of the, the back of that circle and they'll still get hit. The combination of Charm Spectre and Nether Snare can actually take somebody near death. So if you are able to throw the Charm Spectre out and then cast the ability, uh, the ultimate ability, Cursed Oath, before they, the Charm wears off and then throw the Nether Snare down, you could potentially kill them with that combination pretty easily. Now on to her ultimate Cursed Oath. She puts a curse on enemy heroes that last 10 seconds. Cannot be, cannot be actively lifted by anything. It deals 200 magic damage and causes the target to receive 60 magic damage per second. If a target dies while under the curse, the target will resurrect and become the Necromancer's puppet. So they'll be kind of like Sun's clones. It'll be like another little thing sitting with you, fighting with you. They are very good at tanking towers. And remember, one of the things that they're actually useful for is anyone that they hit gets that curse on them. So if they do die, regardless of whether you are the one doing the killing or your teammates do, they will explode and cause damage to everything around them, which is pretty awesome. A resurrected puppet will inherit 70% of the original pre-death attributes and continuously deal plague damage to surrounding targets. It deals 8% of the enemy's match HP as magic damage and the puppets last 12 seconds. Puppets can be damaged I believe and they can be killed, but the puppets are pretty cool. They're not like unstoppable tanks or high damage dealers, but they're useful. And that's kind of what's important over here. But the um, never underestimate how much damage Cursed Oath can do. It lasts 10 seconds. It has initial damage and then it has damage over time, which lasts a whopping 10 seconds. And over the course of 10 seconds will shock you. Now remember, the enemy won't be able to back during this time. They won't be able to regen. And then when they die, they will become a puppet for you and you'll get to enslave them and do whatever the hell you want with them. So it's pretty incredible. Um, I am a big fan of her toolkit as a whole. I think that it is it's a very smooth toolkit, it does a ton of damage, but it's also extremely useful for a team. The ability to essentially deal damage to multiple targets with the nether snare and then when that person dies they explode and deal damage to everyone around them, it causes a pretty insane chain reaction of damage and that's what her game is. Vexana is a straight high damage burst damage mage who has pretty decent catch control, similar to Eudora. Uh, except for she's really good and really fun to play and a lot more skillful whereas all of Eudora's stuff is just click and shoot um, You know Vexana's are more skill based, you know skill shots and stuff like that, but they're also a lot more potent Alright guys, that's enough talk about her skills We'll get into some of her combos and how some tips and tricks on how to use her properly in a little bit Next let's go in and get started on gear selection. All right. You get a ton of magic power, and you get more mana region. And by the time you finish Ice Queen Wand, mana will never be a problem in the rest of the game. 
you got plenty of, plenty of mana regen. <clears throat> then you get 7% movement speed, which is really key, like I said. The more movement speed you can get on her, the better. Make her able to gank things better, get into fights better, get out of fights better, and just kind of stay safe overall as a well, whole, which is kind of a tough job on her. Uh, but the passive on, on this Ice Queen one is really good for her, and essentially slows heroes down by 15% every time you hit them with this skill. And it can stack up to two times, so you could potentially slow down 30%, which is nice. If you guys hit somebody with, you know, second ability and you charm them, they're, they're still at 30%, and then, you know, they're coming out of charm, you can hit them again. Um, her shots are skill shots, so the ability to slow people down 30% while you're trying to get even more skill shots off is a really important piece to the Vexana puzzle, I think, and I think it makes landing those skill shots even easier. Then we're going to rock out some Holy Crystal, and this is just straight, pure, unadulterated damage and burst. And then, of course, we're finishing up with Blood Wings, which is a ridiculous amount of magic power at 150. Plus, you get the 150 HP and 2 HP for every one point of magic damage. So that's going to make you a little bit tankier, help you survive more late game. But this is really a 40% cooldown reduction, enough mana regen early, and burst you down to death build which gives you enough mobility and movement speed to to kind of make you happy and be able to keep you alive that is my favorite um gear set for her and the one that i think is best i'm going to show you a couple other ones the second one is going to be kind of a you know like an off tank like a slight tank build which starts off with clock of destiny which is going to give you a lot of hp a lot of health and then of course the 16 man uh, magic power and then it's going to give you the additional magic the additional um, magic and the additional hp as time goes along so it's a great first item to get if that's the route you're going to take so you're going to end up with a pretty good amount of health you can end up with 900 hp by the end of this or 915 hp by the end of that build then i'm going to go cooldown reduction boots because we're not getting the cooldown reduction items so i need to get cooldown reduction from other pieces so give me that movement speed then i'm looking at winter's truncheon for the armor Another 10% cooldown reduction and magic power. Then I'm going with Dominance Ice, which essentially is giving me mana armor. So at this point, I've got 145 armor. Um, I got some decent health. I got some decent mana. Even though I don't have the mana, you know, region that I like, I have a lot of extra mana that's going to help me stay engaged longer. Um, the crit strike reduction is not really anything worthwhile, but you do get 15% cooldown reduction, which then puts me again at 40%. Vexana's abilities are everything to her, so it's very important that we have that, that cooldown reduction. And then a, you know, the Arctic Cold lowers movement speed by 5% and lowers attack speed by 30% to nearby enemies, which, again, makes them a little bit slower, but really just makes her a little bit more tanky, because, um, you know, any ADC with 30% attack speed reduction is a big deal, and it's important. Then we're headed to a fairly underrated item in the game and that is concentrated energy not only does it give you the 70 magic power that you crave it gives you 700 hp and it, the new not new but recently buffed up to 30 percent spell vamp is really nice it's a little bit of a burst health to her um to her kit because she does this some nasty burst damage and when she has the ult going which does the ticks of damage you know she kind of regens health it's pretty nice and then, of course, it gives the 10% uh, HP after killing a hero. So that's going to help her sustain longer, have more health, and then um, yeah, just make her sustain last longer in fights. And then, of course, we're ending with the big boy, you know, item again, Blood Wings with a ridiculous magic power and health. And she finishes this build with a pretty decent amount of health. I feel like it's really worthwhile if you want to play, if maybe you're not the safest player in the world and you want to play in a fashion that allows you to be a little more reckless because uh, you'll be able to take a lot more damage still potent still a lot of damage still 40 percent quit on reduction um but it's just a different kind of play style it's not what i'm looking for next time but it's still a really good build and then lastly we're going for this kind of sustained uh you know continuous damage build which is the antenna talisman We've already talked plenty about that. Then we're going back to the cooldown reduction boots. That gives us 30% cooldown reduction, and that's all we're going to take with this build. Uh, we're not going to quite get to 40%, but there's other reasons why. Third, we're going to go with Glowing Wands, and that's because of the magic power, movement speed, magic pen, but the passive is great. It essentially burns for up to 3% of the target's current HP as magic damage. Um, it's just a little bit of that extra continuous damage. It actually works pretty nicely with her ultimate. 
Um, I do like it with in combination with that, so that's a pretty good third item. Then we're gonna go again with the ice wand, the uh, ice queen wand, which is fitting for her in her backstory, but also just the slow and the ability to do more constant damage. Then we're going with Devil Tears with that ridiculous magic penetration is so powerful on her, and then the Holy Crystal for the straight extra burst damage and continuous damage. But that is our three builds for. Vexana and I hope you guys enjoy these builds. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. But next we're going to move on to the next section of this guide, which is going to be it, uh, we went 14, I went 14, 1 and 7 with Vexana. I had a quad kill. Did 90 was a 96,000 damage in 13 minutes, yep. but um my video was corrupted, so that sucked. But we're gonna go at it again and show you guys again what Vexana's capable of, because she is capable of some nasty ridiculous damage and I'm excited to, to show you guys what this is all about so that sucked huh Johnny that was a pretty good game yeah that was a really good game for you um I mean it was like domination from the first second to the last so let's make sure okay it's it's playing right now as we speak it's recording so we're good to go this time <laughs> Granted, I hit the button last time too, so hopefully it doesn't get jacked up. But we got this. <clears throat> so let's see, we got a Freya on our team. Hey, Freya actually plays out for me as Vexana really well, because when she does her jump it in, which in, it brings them in, which makes all of them get hit by my second ability, and any of them die, explosion, 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 explosion. It's a chain reaction of death. Is there um, a specific, like, is there like damage? Like, do you know how much damage it does? That that little explosion yeah it's listed in the game i'll list it i'll talk about it while we're in game as i as i level up the damage goes up um which is pretty normal so we'll, I'll, I'll list it out while we're going on through that oh yeah here we go <clears throat> pretty decent team comp i'm happy with it let's see what we get on the other team going against aurora freya we'll bruno oh, you know, that's a pretty decent team i think i would tank but it's still a nice so nice team double mage but they don't have vexana that's a big mistake so we're going to show them what that's all about i love blowing up some uh eudoras with vexana because eudoras eudora kind of does the same stuff that vexana does because she has her first ability as a cc first, yeah. her second ability is a nice little damage that hits more than one person but it's all just there's, no, there's no skill shots man it's all easy it's too easy mm -hmm. not fun it's enough it's more rewarding when you play the skill shot champ it's more rewarding plus she does more damage in my opinion by a lot oh yeah she oh yeah for sure and we're playing team mexico oh yeah team mexico all right let's go who's who's loading still come on aurora you're holding this game up we want to get in and show off this fixana gameplay okay guys so we're gonna go top lane um, I'll kind of go through the early stuff as we're loading up here. We're gonna go top lane. Um, the first thing I'm going to buy because Vexana is a great lane clear and she's great at spamming uh, abilities. I'm gonna buy two, count them, two magic necklaces because mana is an issue for her early game. Yeah. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in lane. We're gonna clear one minion wave as fast as possible. Then we're going to get into the jungle, take the first jungle guy, then the purple buff. And then we're gonna get back in lane and not lose a single minion wave or single minion even you so that's would, I be, would i be wrong if i say that vixana hurts it hurts early game if she doesn't uh take the purple buff uh buff um i mean you could deal with it with the magic necklaces and not spamming abilities as much i mean look at that look at that damage. and then the ex if, luckily for for eudora she's smart enough to get away from her minions oh watch out Gonna regen. Let's go ahead and farm the jungle. We gotta watch out for her. You didn't see that. Right <laughs> we're gonna have to get back in lane first. Let's go. I don't need purple oh. yet anyway, so we're good. Let's clear one more wave and then we'll be good to jump back in and get that purple. So I can, like I said, I can hit all three of them if I aim it right in the right spot. The best thing I can do early game, honestly, is to get those guys set up for. To get those guys set up for, you know, being hurt and having the mark on them, and then charm her, and then kill them as she's near them, and then I get that chain reaction with explosions. Let's go and call this into the weeds and. Yeah, I just saw Natalia exclamation there. Oh, we're doing both. Yeah, she's here. She's here. Natalia's here. 
Oh, I just flickered into a wall. That sucked balls, because that's not what I did. I was trying to flicker and uh, get that charm on her, see if I could pull her into a tower. Let's see what we could do here. She's here right now, so she's here. She took it. Got her. <clears throat> nice. Got her. Get in my jungle and try to steal my purple. How dare you. <laughs> Alright, so that was a bit crazy. Um, Natalia is being really aggressive in the game, and she has now yeah. officially paid the price for it. We got Yi Sun Shin hit the top lane. Let's clear this jungle and hit level 4 because we're now behind. We need to catch yeah. up. Um, so let's clear this jungle real quick, including Mr. Krabs. So we get caught up and get that money so we all love. Let's just go, let's just go kill her. Just go take her down. Oh, both of them. Either one will do. Can't go invis in that middle bush. No, you can't. Which is broken. It's alright though. <clears throat> I have ult. As soon as she comes I was trying to see if I could catch her. I wanna see if I get the Italian though, because I know she's a pretty aggressive. Yeah, one. she's pretty aggressive. Nice job. This is my, this is my pet, this is my pet. Balls deep, baby. Nice. There we go, there we go. Good job. Good. Let's lock this tower down so we can roam, because I love roaming yeah. with Vexano. We're going to get boots right now, yeah. Good stuff. I'm getting boots right now because her movement speed is garbage. Purple's up. Yeah, it's good for Bonnie need it. Uh, her movement speed is garbage, and I really need to be able to roam around a little bit better and move, get out of danger and all that stuff so quicker and faster. So, good start to the game for Team Exxon. Late game, she can fit an entire wave, right? Oh, yeah. Just with like two abilities? Mm, yeah. With one. With one ability. With one? Yeah. It's pretty nasty. You ready to go in? Yeah. Got him. Ulting him. He's dead. Oh, oh come on, Karina. Oh, she's charmed. Got them both. Nice. Nice. Yeah, baby. Double kill. That was my Bruno that got her. The Bruno's the one who first dropped. The Bruno pet. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. How much she's damage do I do? She's in this bush. I don't have anything for you right now. Charmed her. I'm getting out. Alright, I'm getting out as well. Oh shit, she's dead. How much damage does the pet do? I'll let you know next time it's up. I'm gonna back. I'm, I'm low on having to regen up. Okay, 403 at 5 minutes and 20 seconds. This game's going a little bit, a little bit not as good as last game, but still pretty good. Hopefully I can get a pentakill this game. <clears throat> That'd be pretty nice to see. Pretty fun. Love me getting pentakills. It's one of my funnest things, my, my funnest things, my favorite things to do. Dora, you shouldn't stand there. She's ulted. She's dead. That's why you aim the second ability, guys. Sometimes I get lazy and I don't aim it, and then you guarantee to not get it. That's a Well, look how much the pet's doing. The pet does damage, man. It is actually not a joke. I got her. She's charmed. Got the second ability up. Boom! Nice. I blew up two bodies. Blew up two bodies, and then that got that extra damage going. That passes, though. She's dead you nailed uh, your second ability. Yeah, she's too far away. Yeah. Alright, sorry. Let's take these towers now. I get her with my hit her with my second ability, flickering out. I'm almost dead. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get out. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna charm up. There you go. All right, I'm backing again. I'm low on health. Let's get that purple buff when I come back up. Yeah, I'll start tanking. All right, so 6-0-4 now. 
you guys see it gives you a little picture of the burst damage i hope you guys are noticing some of the nuances like i was talking about before the game we're throwing out the charm we're throwing out the second ability the which is the uh the nether snare we're throwing that out behind uh the to took that's cool we're throwing out the nether snare behind the enemies because we're predicting that they're going to be kind of backing yeah. up and trying to get into a safe space after they got crowd control which is a pretty normal way of people handling things look at that big fight big lane let's go he got out of the charm, but look at that, look at that. Boom. Bolting. Two doors dead. There's two right here. In the I ulted Eudora. Eudora's not dead yet. He's dead. Oh, I was well, man. If he would've kept walking, he'd been dead. Here. Okay, good, good, good. Let's clear that lane, baby. Let's clear that lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. I just hit Freya with that second ability. Hit it with the first ability, there we go. And yeah, look at that, halfway down already, Freya's pretty much dead. I do know that. I'm doing good, she's dead. Ain't no worries about Natalia. Bam! Oh, come on, Karina, that was all my work, baby. All my work, I had my pup, my puppet, my pet. That is my puppet, actually. I got my puppet out. Just dominating that, and then Karina came in. Karina has stolen like three or four kills from me. Just straight ulted a hero who was already dead. Okay, well, she still has ult. Yeah. Die for me. Bruno, Bruno should be nervous to be up against me right now. I'm low. I'm regening, though. <laughs> Okay, let's get back in this fight. Oh, look at that bot lane going. Getting some action. 6017. Karina's freaking just salivating and eating all the work that we're doing. It's alright, it's alright. Let's look at this. Oh, man. Hey, where'd you go? I thought we were gonna go together. Oh, I was low. Oh, I didn't know. I had three of them there, juicy. If you would have been with me, you would have killed all three of them. Instead, I'm dead. I did get them down though. They're pretty. They were. I cut a couple of them down below half health. That burst. All right, all right. You guys got a little thing going on there. Don't go in too deep without me. Let me get back in. Yeah. Oh, Freya's killing him. Oh wow, they just got murdered. Yeah, back dead, out, back yeah. out. Don't even bother. That is not a winning fight for you. Enemy double kill. <clears throat> Well, I hope that gives you an idea of who's been doing the damage and the work in this in these team fights. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go top lane. Let's protect that tower. There's three of yeah. them there. I think we can take them. I'm gonna soak up all the damage. Nutty! Oh, oh my god. god! Exploded the mines. Oh, here we go. Bruno, oh, come on, show slow as that. Yeah, way to go. You saw that explosion reaction, right? Yeah. That was nasty. That was a combination of passive and the uh, second ability. Yep. I blew one, I killed one person with it, and then it exploded and killed the second person with it, and it was just GG's right there. All right, eight, one, and eight. I'm, I'm taking MVP. I ain't letting Karina steal it from me. Just try. Oh, yeah. So, watch out. Charmed. You don't win this fight. I'm gonna kick her off. <clears throat> Get ready to go back in. Are you good? Are you good? I'm pretty up low. Got her charmed. Just low. Just help me. Nice. I'll Charm me. I'm dead. Get out. We're, our team is literally farming the jungle. That's cool. That's cool. I got someone. I got, yeah, I ulted her. Oh. I, I got her down really low and then ulted her before I died. Oh. If you're gonna die and you got somebody that's below. You know, 25-30% health, ult. That ult lasts 10 seconds. It's actually a surprising lot of damage. <laughs> it's ticked it. Like, right now, it's doing... 111 damage per second for 10 seconds. So, it does over 1,000 damage over the course of time. It's a lot. It's surprising, but it's a lot. Yeah. Damage over time. The explosion damage right now is... 320 to 600. I'm assuming the 600 is for... The big guys for heroes, so it's about 700 damage per explosion on heroes. 
So dude, let's get purple if we can real quick. Just so I have that kill. out of the way. Yeah, I mean without us right now, our team is just feeding at this point, really. Pretty much. I'm falling Freya on their team is good. That's their best player. Seven, three, and four, and actually doing pretty well. I'll do my best to kill you. Yeah, you know, you're doing great, man. You're doing great. We're doing me and you are carrying the team. Let's go mid and just Push out the lane a little bit and there we go. Oh, look, push out the rest of the bush. Yeah, you're gonna run the crap away as fast as possible. Check out that lane too. Not quite end game yet, but you see it here. I hit all four of them with it. Bam. Explosions. Yeah, that's, that's what so it's about right there. Yeah, it's very satisfying. I don't know where the other team is. Watch out for the Natalia. Yeah, if Freya was nearby with bot lane, she must have uh, she must be coming up a little bit too. Check her out. Oh, she just missed her stun completely. Oh, uh, regening. If we got our team here, we could fight. We're, yeah, we're not here yet. We're not here yet. <clears throat> Karina, come steal kills. Come on. <laughs> Karina's here. Alright, go in the bush. Oh, no. From the looks of you, you see just waiting for somebody to charm, really. Our Freya just missed everyone with that crap. I thought she was gonna get some Nice job. Die for me. Bruno with it. Ulting. Nice. Oh, she took it. I got my Bruno. Bruno pet coming here. Little better jump. Oh, I think if I kick off. Freya! Oh my god. Wait, 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 you from the jungle? Yeah, she's from the jungle during that whole fight. Alright, 9, 3, 11, 13 minutes and 50 seconds into the game. Pretty good game going so far. Looks like we got MVP pretty much wrapped up. Yeah, no, maybe you might take it from us. That's about it, though. <clears throat> Alright, I'll be back up in 17 seconds, and then we will continue. I would love to get full build, actually, that would be that'd be preferable. I'd love to get full build and show you guys what the hot birds. At my, right now, one of my issues is my farm is not very good, I don't think. Eh, middle of the road. Our turret is under attack. Yeah, you got no purple for now. Yeah. <clears throat> That's alright, my mana's good now, I'm good on that. I'm gonna see my kick until I get here. Movement speed right now is really good on her because of uh, the second item I had at movement speed, so I like that. Bruno's bot. They're gonna have to respond to us, so. If we can get Freya, that would be phenomenal. That's fun. Wow, you are. Wow. Nice. Oh, Bruno from behind. <sighs> Yi Sun Shin is literally standing right next to me. Thanks for that, Ethan. Shin. Appreciate it, bro. All right, that's pretty good though. Um, I got a nice ult again. Getting some more kills. 10, 4, and 12. Still in line for MVP. If you didn't have those 12 assists, you probably have probably have. Yeah, Karina. Karina has stolen a lot of kills. Like, you'll see the damage at the end of the game. My damage will be outrageous. Karina's won't be that good. She's not yeah, getting engaged right. until late. She's just not cleaning up. <clears throat> right. Okay. Which is fine. I mean, that's what Karina's job is, but she could get engaged a little bit earlier. Okay. I love the movement speed with this build. I have a. I, what I do is I go with Ice Queen one, seven percent movement speed. Yeah, yeah you really speed. need some movement speed because she's like. It also slows body. down anyone I attack, so it's kind of a. Dual the basic speed. attacks. Uh, no with skills. That, like, skills. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Freya's behind, Freya's behind. There she is. Oh, map glitch, map glitch! Second ability, uh oh. Okay. My map glitched out. It showed people in the wrong places. And, did that ever happen to you with Yun Zhao's, with, uh, with uh, Yusin yeah, Shenzo? Yeah. I thought they were similar yeah. based on the map. I went there and then they were right in my face. That sucked pretty hardcore. That's a pretty common glitch, honestly. Something I see frequently. It really screws up the team. Yeah. 
it actually removes the benefit of that ability altogether. You can never count on it. I don't know why I did. I should never know. Shut down. Their burst damage on this is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Treya with Aurora and Midora. The nice little trio. Our turret has been destroyed. I can't it. <laughs> Our inhibitor turret is under attack. I'm gonna just test the damage to see if they stay. Okay. Our inhibitor turret is under attack. And then that, she's gonna come in. She's gonna pop up and kill you like 10 out of 10 times. Who, Karina or, or Natalia? Yeah. I, I'm just gonna, I've, been I'm just gonna I've been able to charm her and help so I Oh, Lord, they're there. There's two mid, three mid, one bot, two bot. We can't really fight this. We don't have anyone here. Let's go hunt down and help her. They're in the middle. They will come to a pit of land. Request backup. I can't trust that. Now is your time to Really feel like we have to focus Freya on this one. That is never right. <laughs> Yep. Nice. Nice catch. Watch out. We're gonna kick the tire off you. She's, she's charmed. Nice. There we go. Got four yeah, down. good push. You could definitely push. Three as well. Too bad you don't flicker up. You don't smoke to do it.